Tangway. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. grids 11th in the double zero. Then it's JT Cashman in the 7C. Josh Gerard in car number 03. Kaz Brian Caswell in the 47. Another driver back in action, Austin Porkchop Erickson in the 22, Rob D. Almeida in the 18, and out back out of Franklin, Chip LaQuire in the 96. 50 laps of distance, the Lance Davis Memorial presented by Tangway Family Race and into the Bumpies Auto Service restart zone. Green flag in the air, Lance Davis Memorial is underway. Lovejoy got a good jump on the outside of Clark Brooks. Brooks fights back on the bottom side, side by side for the race lead down the back stretch. Clark Brooks uses the bottom lane to his advantage. Back to the top spot, he'll lead lap number one. Chris Schroeder and Rob McRae bouncing off each other down the front straightaway. Charlie Baldwin not wasting any time in car number two, looking for the top spot away from Clark Brooks. Adam Lovejoy stuck on the outside groove right now in car number 88. Everybody bouncing off each other further back in the pack. Schroeder, Baldwin, the 52 of McRae and the 94 of Ventrilo. Up front now, Charlie Baldwin to the lead, down the back straightaway. Charlie Baldwin, who has been tough to beat when he shows up here at the Star Speedway. Baldwin in the two car, or underneath the 21 of Brooks into the top spot. Chris Watson in the 35, gonna follow through. So Clark Brooks picking number one, did not work to his advantage. He's gonna fall back to the third spot as Watson gets to the bottom side. Lovejoy in the fourth spot. Looks like a little space for the 21 of Brooks to be able to get down and get in that third spot. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. starting to make some headway in the double zero car after a tough performance in qualifying rounds. He's up into the seventh spot now in the double O. Joey Ventrillo stuck on the outside groove in car number 94, thus far not to his liking in car number 94. As JT Cashman goes by, Shane Gendron next in line in car number seven. Up front, Charlie Baldwin leads the way, but Chris Watson keeping him honest right now in car number 35. Seven laps in the record books, this time by for your leader, Charlie Baldwin. Seven down for Baldwin in car number two. Keep an eye on George Baldwin now, looking to the bottom side on Rob McRae. Baldwin muscles his way to the bottom side on McRae down through the rumble strips. McRae fends him off for the moment down the back straightaway, but Baldwin keeps his foot in and gets down underneath McRae. More contact, two former outlaw drivers going at it right now for position number five on the racetrack. And now it belongs to the double L of George Baldwin. McRae back to the sixth spot. Seventh is Renfrew Jr. Eighth is Chris Schroeder. Ninth is JT Cashman. And tenth belongs to the seven of Shane Gendron. Top three have broken away from fourth spot. Adam Lovejoy in the 88 as they head down the back chute. Then it's a little ways back to George Baldwin. Right now Baldwin in the double L looking like he's got a car to contend. But we'll see if it gets better and better as the race goes on. Top three in a line down the back straightaway. It's Charlie Baldwin, Chris Watson, and the 21 of Clark Brooks. JT Cashman a little out of sorts there through turns three and four. Him and Shane Gendron going out of position. Gendron lets him gather that car back up. We stay green. Chris Watson biding his time right now, I do believe, behind Charlie Baldwin, not pushing the issue as it's a 50 lap main event here tonight for the Woody's Auto Street Stocks and the Lance Davis Memorial. Pat Tangway and Brian Caswell going out of full contact at the back of the pack right now. Both drivers able to figure it out down into turns three and four, we stay green. Best battle right now is between Jimmy Renfrew Jr. and the 66K of Chris Schroeder, that's for position number seven on the racetrack. Schroeder in the 66K and the double zero of Jimmy Renfrew Jr. going at it. Then right behind them, it's JT Cashman and Shane Gendron. Charlie Baldwin now starting to slowly open up the gap over second spot. Chris Watson in the 35. Adam Lovejoy sideways in the 88 car, but he's all alone in that four spot, so it's not going to cost him much. Shane Gendron now down underneath JT Cashman. He'll take over the ninth spot on the racetrack in car number seven. Rob McRae down underneath George Baldwin. Keep an eye on that battle for the fifth spot. Two savvy veterans, two former outlaw drivers going at it for the fifth spot. And they are going full contact right now. McRae down low, Baldwin up high, side by side for the fifth spot. 
Jimmy Renfrew Jr. right there behind him waiting for something to happen. Renfrew Jr. is going to try to pounce down the back stretch. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. looking to crack inside the top five in the double O car. He's looking to get down underneath Baldwin, down the front straightaway. In car double O, and he will. McCray clears into the fifth spot. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. going to take six now. Chris Schroeder in line. In car number 66K, Baldwin off the back stretch now. George Baldwin off the back straightaway, so he's going to lose another spot to the captain, Chris Schroeder, in the 66K. 20 laps in the record books, 30 remain this time by for charging Charlie Baldwin in car number two. Chris Watson hung with Baldwin in the early going to this one, but he's starting to fade just a little bit, and Baldwin starting to open up the gap in car number two. Keep an eye on Jimmy Renfrew Jr. in the 66K at Chris Schroeder. Two MHSTRA cars trying to crack up inside the top five. As a lot of people have said, you can't compete here at the Star Speedway, but Renfrew Jr. and Chris Schroeder are showing that you can just fine, running sixth and seventh right now in a nice field of Woody's Auto Street Stocks here tonight in the Lance Davis Memorial. Baldwin, your leader. Watson, second. Third is Clark Brooks. Fourth is Lovejoy. Fifth, McRae. Sixth, Renfrew Jr. Seventh, Schroeder. Eighth, Baldwin. Ninth, Jenrin. And tenth is the 7C of JT Cashman. Pat Tangway, first to go a lap down to your leader, Charlie Baldwin. Tangway qualified well here tonight up inside the top 10, but the 79 car. Not up to his liking, this time by cross flags in the air. 25 down, 25 to go for charging Charlie Baldwin. Brian Caswell, dead ahead of your leader, trying to make sure he stays on the lead left. Contact now with him and Rob D'Al Media. D'Al Meda in the 18 car sideways. Hangs onto the 18 car, Caswell backs off of him to let him collect it. Adam Lovejoy now starting to close in on Clark Brooks for that third spot. Brooks is 21 car, redrew in position number one, but starting to fade here in the second half of tonight's Lance Davis Memorial. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. now starting to pressure the rocket, Rob McRae in car number 52. Pat Tangway to the bottom side, keep an eye on that battle as well as the battle for the third spot is Adam Lovejoy all over Clark Brooks for third right now. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. now putting a bumper to Rob McRae for the fifth spot. Down into turns one and two. McRae up the racetrack. Give the fifth spot now to Jimmy Renfrew Jr. Chris Schroeder going to follow suit in the 66K. Good to see those two cars battling it out up inside the top five. Renfrew Jr. in the double zero gets fifth. Schroeder now has sixth. Here comes Adam Lovejoy for the third spot now. Lovejoy gets the bottom side away from Clark Brooks. Brooks tries slamming the door, but it's not going to happen. Give the third spot to former champion Adam Lovejoy in the 88. Now Brooks drives into Lovejoy down through turns one and two, tries to get back to the bottom side. Lovejoy able to motor back out in front. Brooks once again puts the bumper to Lovejoy. Lovejoy sideways down through turns three and four. Clark Brooks trying to get back to the bottom side of Lovejoy. More contact down the front straightaway. It is full contact for that third spot, but Lovejoy able to open up the gap now down the back straightaway. Charlie Baldwin in heavy lap traffic right now. Austin Erickson in his return to racing. Going to go a lap down to your leader, Baldwin. Pat Tangway, tough break for the 79 of Tangway. He's down pit road early in this one. Tough break for Pat Tangway. Josh Gerard sideways down the front straightaway in the 0-3 car right in front of your leader. Caswell sideways right in front of your leader, Charlie Baldwin. Caution, flag is out. And what makes no sense right now, race fans, is that it is raining here at the Star Speedway. <laughs> raining on the front straightaway.
All right, Lance Davis Memorial set to get back underway. 33 down of the scheduled 50 into the Bumpy's Auto Service restart zone. Green flag back in the air. Lance Davis Memorial back underway. Clark Brooks did not get a good restart in the 21 car. He is way up the racetrack. Give the fourth spot to Jimmy Renfrew Jr. Fifth now. They're three wide down the back stretch. Clark Brooks headed to the back in the hurry. They're side by side for the race lead. Now Watson on the outside in the 35. Watson up high, Charlie Baldwin down low. Watson hanging tough on the outside groove, side by side down the back straightaway. How about the two Renfrew cars, Lovejoy and Renfrew Jr. running third and fourth right now, and Chris Schroeder in fifth. Chris Watson hanging tough on the outside groove. Charlie Baldwin has the preferred bottom lane. Chip LaCroix goes around in the 96 car. We'll see if he can get it refired in car number 96. And Ventrilo sideways around in the 94. Caution flag is out. Chip LaCroix goes for the spin cycle in the 96. Gets a refired little bit of debris on the racetrack as well. Joey Ventrillo, I believe, will get his spot back as he was not the reason for the caution flag, but we'll get word from race control. Into the Bumpy's Auto Service restart zone. 34 down, 16 to go in the Lance Davis Memorial. Green flag back in the air. Woody's Auto Street Sox back underway. Baldwin got a good jump that time, and Chris Watson did not. Here comes Adam Lovejoy for the second spot now. Lovejoy looking to take the second spot away from Chris Watson. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. and Chris Schroeder in line right behind him. Watson's going to have to do his work from the outside groove. Chris Watson up high on the outside groove, loses the second spot to the 88 of Adam Lovejoy. Looks like he's gonna lose the third spot to Renfrew as well. There is a line of cars behind the 35 of Chris Watson looking for positions now. Renfrew able to get down underneath Watson down the back straightaway side by side for spot number three. It's all Charlie Baldwin up front. Renfrew Jr. up the racetrack a little bit into Watson. He'll take the third spot away down into turns. One and two, here comes Chris Schroeder. How about the captain? Chris Schroeder back in action, looking for the fourth spot down the back straightaway. Watson tries getting down in front of Schroeder. Chris Watson forces his way down in front of Chris Schroeder. Schroeder is gonna keep that in the memory bank in car number 66K. Here comes Shane Gendron now, looking for the bottom side of Schroeder down the back straightaway. Schroeder able to get back down in front, hang on to position number five in car number 66K. Chris Watson. Oh, Clark Brooks gets into JT Cashman and sends him for the spin cycle. Caution flag is out for JT Cashman. Clark Brooks drove him and then drove him again and sent him around in the 21 car. And Clark Brooks will go to the tail of the field in car number 21. All right, lineup is set. 39 down, 11 to go, and Charlie Baldwin has a new suitor to his outside. It's Adam Lovejoy in the 88. Jimmy Renfrew, Jr., third, fourth is Chris Watson, and fifth belongs to the 66K of Chris Schroeder. Brooks and Cashman done for the evening. Here we go, green flag back in the air. Lance Davis Memorial back in the way. Contact for the race lead. Down into turns one and two. Adam Lovejoy got a pretty good start on the outside groove down the back straight, but here comes Jimmy. Oh, Watson's around. Schroeder and Watson involved on the back straightaway. And the caution flag is out again. Chris Watson and Chris Schroeder involved on the back straightaway. Tough break for those two up inside the top five. All right, lights go down. Tough break for Chris Schroeder. Lost brakes in the 66K car. Tough break for Schroeder in his return to action. He was having a good night up inside the top five. But good to see Chris back, but a tough break for him. All right, here we go. 39 down, 11 still remain for Charlie Baldwin. Into the Bumpy's Auto Service restart zone. Good start. Green flag back in the air. Lance Davis Memorial back underway. Once again, Adam Lovejoy got a pretty good jump on the outside. Here comes Jimmy Renfrew Jr., though. 
Jimmy Renfrew Jr. out of nowhere looking for the race lead. Now down into turns three and four. Gives Baldwin a shot up the racetrack. Here comes Jimmy Renfrew Jr. for the race lead. Ten to go at the line. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. with the bump and run on Charlie Baldwin. New leader, it's Jimmy Renfrew Jr. Here comes George Baldwin in the 11. George Baldwin in car number double L down into the third spot. Baldwin gives it back to Renfrew now for the race lead. More contact down into turns one and two. Leaning on each other for the race lead. Baldwin gives it back to Renfrew. Gets the top spot back in car number two. How about this, race fans? You can't beat the Woody's Auto Street Stocks at the Star Speedway. Charlie Baldwin back to the lead. Here comes George Baldwin in the double L. George Baldwin just came out of nowhere in the double L looking for the second spot. Charlie Baldwin back to the race lead. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. tried his hardest for the bump and run, but now he's stuck on the outside groove. Side by side for the second spot. George Baldwin down underneath Jimmy Renfrew Jr. He'll take the second spot away. Here comes Shane Gendron now. Gendron got a little contact, but Renfrew Jr. does a nice job to get down in front of Shane Gendron for the third spot. Bumper tag through turns three and four. Charlie Baldwin now trying to run away and doesn't want that to happen again. He lost the lead for a lap. Gets it back. Five fingers in the air for charging. Charlie Baldwin in car number two. George Baldwin runs second. A good run for George Baldwin. After he faded back in the early going, he's got the second spot back. Jimmy Renfrew Jr. runs third. Fourth is Jenrin and fifth is Adam Lovejoy in the 88. Going to be interesting here to see who finishes the podium spot. As it's getting a little bit physical up inside the top four or five right now. Gendron trying to find a way by Jimmy Renfrew Jr. for that third spot down the back chute. Charlie Baldwin opening up the gap with three laps to go. It got hairy there. Renfrew tried his hardest. A classic Star Speedway bump and run. But Baldwin gave it right back to him. Here comes Adam Lovejoy now for the fourth spot. Two laps to go at the line for charging. Charlie Baldwin in car number two. Two to go at the line. George Baldwin all alone in the second spot in the double L. Renfrew all alone right now in third. White flag in the air. Final trip around for Charlie Baldwin in car number two. White flag is out. Into one and out of two. Down the back straightaway for the final time. What an interesting finish this was. Your 2023 Lance Davis Memorial winner is Charlie Baldwin in the two. Second to George Baldwin. Third to Jimmy Renfrew Jr. Fourth to Jenrin and fifth goes to Adam Lovejoy will head trackside.